Hi, I'm Ken Jarman, Senior Editor here at CNET.com. Today we're going to take a first look at the Android 2.2 Froyo update on the HTC Evo 4G. Like most other Android updates, Froyo will arrive in batches, so not everyone's going to get it at the same time. When you do get it, you, you'll see a notification on your screen that will ask you to download it, install it, it'll restart your phone, it'll be ready to go. But if you can't wait, go into your settings menu, uh, find your system updates option, and then check for HTC software update. It will then manually check for the update, and you should be able to download it then. Furrow has a lot of new features, so it's pretty exciting. I'm going to walk you through some of them. Uh, but I'm going to lead off with two of the biggest things that I think come with Froyo. Now, for a long time we've been complaining that the two biggest drawbacks of Android are it didn't allow you to uh, store apps on the external memory and you couldn't do any voice dialing over Bluetooth. Fortunately, Froyo fixes both of those, so it's really, really great. Hook up a Bluetooth headset and make sure your headset, of course, <laughs> supports voice dialing over Bluetooth. Uh, just hit the headset as you normally would and you can dial by number or by contact name. So, worked pretty well. On the app storage front, uh, yes, you can take an app and you can install it on the external memory card. All you need to do is just go into the settings menu, click the applications, go to manage applications. We'll go into the Google Sky Maps that we've downloaded, hit that, and you see there's a button for moving to SD card. And then uh, once you have it there and you want to move it back, we'll just go to this paper toss, you can see there's a move to phone. So transferring it back and forth is pretty uh, easy. So really, really nice to see both of those options. But that's not all. Froyo does add a lot of interesting features. In the camera application, you're going to see those icons that sit on the viewfinder. They're just going to rotate as you rotate the phone. So they're always going to be in the same place on the display. It's just that they're going to uh, always be right side up. So kind of a minor issue, but still nice, I think. Another thing is you can use the flash uh, now for video recording. It'll be great for low light conditions and uh, for the dark. So a uh, nice feature there as well. Similar to how you can use the camera flash as a light for your video recorder, you now can use the camera flash as a flashlight. So there's a special icon right on the screen, and the flash will actually go to three brightness settings just by tapping the screen. You can now share applications. To access that, you just go to the main menu. There's a app sharing icon up at the top. You choose the application you want. We'll choose that paper toss again. You can choose a variety of methods to share it. You can use email, you can use Bluetooth, you can use a message, you can use Facebook. So let's say we're just going to go into email. Your friend will get an email that just tells them uh, they've received the app and it will give them a link to the Android market to uh, download it. So, uh, interesting touch there. With Facebook, once you've synced your Facebook account with your phone, uh, you have a couple of interesting things. You can go to get your events and your friend's birthdays in the calendar. It's uh, my friend Xavier's birthday today, so it can tell me that. And you can go in and say if you've been invited to a party or anything like that. You can just see it right in your calendar. So it's nice that you don't have to go into your Facebook account application, open anything there and find it. When you look at your friend stream feature, which of course is that HTC application that shows you all your status updates and Twitter tweets from friends, let's say someone's you know, commented on somebody else, you can go in and actually add them as a friend only in the friend stream application so you don't have to open Facebook again. So a couple of shortcuts there. The FM radio now has a new interface. It's very clean and user friendly and I continue to really like the menu where you can go in and just go right to the station you want, tap it rather than having to scroll like you would in your car where you hit the knob. So it's a nice thing. Open the photo gallery application. You can now access Facebook photos that you've posted on your account or your friends. I can go and I can look at um, all the photos from my trip to Boston earlier this year. Now, if I want, I can even go in and comment on those photos, or I could go to my friends' photos and comment on them as well. I can centralize everything, so it saves me a few steps, which is a nice touch. And another change, when you're using the main Google search, you'll see that Google icon here in the corner. Tap that, and you see you can search for everything, so that means your apps, anything on the phone, and web results. You can search for only web results and you can only search for apps. So just a great way to narrow your results if you like. A couple of other features that the Froyo offers. It does have a, a faster JavaScript engine, has Flash 10.1 for the web browser, so that should help your viewing. You can set alphanumeric passwords, so you don't have to just use a number, you can use letters and numbers. When you have an alarm clock, you can set the volume level. So it's nice that you don't have to, you know, we completely jump out of bed if it's too loud. Uh, you can send a contract as a v-card and a text message as well. So, some pretty good features here. But of course, voice dialing over Bluetooth and saving apps and memory cards are two of the best things. I'm Ken Sherman and this is the Android 2.2 Froyo update on the HTC Evo 4G.